season of the witch has just launched and alongside that came some new exotics and new strand aspects so you know we had to combine the two in the best way possible to give you a brand new build that in my personal opinion is a ton of fun to use and this might be one of my favorite builds to use in the game right now it is so much fun and allows you to kind of channel your inner beyblade if you will and throw some beyblades into the arena and let them do work for you you'll see what i mean in the gameplay this new build is going to be based upon the brand new hunter exotic moth keepers wraps which allow you to turn your grenade into a cage of loyal moths that when you throw it, they will either fly towards your nearest target or nearest ally. And if they reach a target, they will detonate into a blinding explosion. And if they reach an ally, they'll give them a void overshield. This also gives you three grenade charges when you are on strand. So this allows us to have three grenades for moths and it's gonna be a lot of fun to use. Now, but before I get into the video here, I gotta preface and say that this is not going to be a meta defining build. This is just purely a fun and enjoyable build on everything that's new in the game right now for Hunters. In our subclass here, we're gonna go with the Silk Strike Super, obviously, as well as the Threaded Spike, since those do not change. And we have Gambler's Dodge and Triple Jump. The grenade doesn't matter, since we're gonna be using the Moths anyways as our grenade. And then our Aspects are gonna be Widow Silk, so we can get that additional grenade charge. And then we're going to pair that with the brand new strand aspect, Whirling Maelstrom, which basically turns our tangles into Beyblades, whether we throw it or shoot it. It's going to start throwing out unraveling projectiles and spinning around in circles like a Beyblade, and it's going to hit enemies and it's going to track to them, and it's going to be insanely fun to use. It's really cool to see these little Beyblade looking strand tangles ripping around the arena. And they also do decent damage too. For our fragments, we're going to go with Threat of Generation so we can regen our grenades faster. Along with Threat of Warding to grant Woven Mail, will we pick up an Orb of Power, which is going to build into Threat of Transmutation, which allows us to create tangles when we have Woven Mail. And then we're also going to have Threat of Continuity, so we have longer suspend unravel and sever effects to increase the duration of it now let's move on to what i recommend you should run for stats in this build we're going to go with mobility resilience and discipline as obviously resilience is the best for end game pve and pve in general mobility so we can get our dodge back faster to give us our melee back faster and then we're going to go with discipline so we can get those grenades back even faster when it comes to weapons in this build it kind of depends on what you want to run hand cannon's got a massive buff this season and i was able to just get this from a world drop here in the new seasonal activities and he kept calm confidence is a strand 140 so i like to use strand weapons in the kinetic slot here definitely do that if and if you can use the hand cannons you're going to be getting a lot more damage out of them anyway so kind of choose what you want but lean towards strand weapons in the kinetic slot energy slot use whatever forbearance is a great call whatever you use in your energy slot make sure you're pairing it with your siphons on your helmet likewise in the kinetic slot and heavy slot if you can if not it doesn't really matter but heavy is not going to really matter too much either in our artifact here i don't really have too much unlocked but anything that can benefit the strand subclass is going to be nice communal pickups is not going to be a bad one refreshing pickups as well and then things like elemental embrace rapid fire ranger monochromatic maestro elemental munitions anything in that last column is going to be nice kind of choose what you want there and then now let's move on over to the final part of the build our armor mods starting on the helmet we're going to go with dynamo and then two siphon mods i like to run a harmonic siphon so it costs one energy and then pair that with another siphon of whatever my energy slot is going to be and then on our gauntlets we're going to go with grenade kickstart so we can get as many grenades as possible and we're going to take advantage of armor charges here instead of running weapon surges however you could run weapon surges if you want i just want to get as many grenades out as possible and we're going to pair that with firepower so when we get those kills with grenades we're going to be spawning those orbs obviously chest piece the usual three resistance mods so we can just take more damage and then on the boots we're going to go with an elemental charge since we're going to be trying to get as many tangles as possible we want to get armor charges off of those tangles so elemental charge is perfect there recuperation for health regen and innervation for grenade cooldown from picking up orbs and then finally on the cloak two bombers and then a reaper i did not expect a moth exotic to be on the cards for today's launch of the new season for hunters but i was pleasantly surprised again these things aren't meta defining they're not going to be game breaking they're not going to be the next best thing 
but man are they a ton of fun to use and if you grind and get these exotics let me know what you think of it down below i personally am really enjoying it if you don't like it that's okay too but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did be sure to leave a like and subscription to the channel it helps me out a ton as a creator and i would greatly appreciate it now if you guys want to catch some more of my content i throw up some short form content over on tiktok and i just made the full-time switch to streaming over on kick so if you want to check out both of those they will be linked in the description below appreciate you making it to the end of the video and i hope you have a phenomenal rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace